hope you're all doing well and welcome back for a new video today and as you can see we are back in my dressing room because I'm going to be flipping over my wardrobe ready for the spring season I'm honestly been like I've been like so close to doing it but then I'm thinking no it's too early it's too early and then it was sunny and then it was cold again and then it was rainy I was like right okay it's definitely too early but I'm filming this on a Sunday which is the 21st of March and it's the official day of spring so I thought I'm just gonna do it now. Like I have loads of like knitwear hanging that I want to like fold and put in a drawer, but then my other drawer is full of like really thick chunky knits that I obviously need to vacuum back down. So I need that drawer back and I need space. So I thought I'd vlog switching over my wardrobe and bringing you guys back into my dressing room again, which is nearly finished now. So I have a new dressing table that has finally arrived. It is downstairs. I'm hopefully gonna get Russ to try and get it out later and just see if it's all okay. I also have some new prints coming up. So there will be a full dressing room reveal coming very very soon to my channel and I also have some more home updates to share with you guys because you would have seen on last week's video we've oiled our kitchen so I ordered some new bits for our kitchen size some new decor and stuff so I will show you that in a bit I also have some new bits to show you in the bedroom which I'll show you now so this section of today's video is kindly sponsored by a brand called mom silk who sell 100% natural silk pillowcases I mean if you guys haven't seen silk pillowcases they are an absolute dream so you can just see them just behind there so there's one for me and there's one for us because Russ is very into his skincare at the moment, like during lockdown. It's one thing I wanted him to get into was him actually having a proper skincare routine. And when these pillows arrived, Russ was like, why are you so excited about silk pillowcases? I was like, have you not heard of a silk pillowcase? Like, that honestly, it's so good for like my hair, for example. Like when I sleep on a silk pillowcase, my hair doesn't get as knotty. Like I can easily brush my hair through in the morning. It doesn't get knotty. And obviously my hair being blonde as well, I find that I always get sort of breakage on my top crown. It's where I sleep on a pillow sleeping on a silk pillowcase has really helped that and they also help prevent wrinkles in your skin as well so they are really great for your skin so when I was talking to us about them it's like you will love these silk pillowcases because they're so soft on your skin they prevent wrinkles so he was like oh, okay I need one and when we first put them on the bed he was like oh my god they are so so soft so I'll show you a closer look at them so here are the two pillowcases they're honestly so so soft I'll grab one out so you can have a closer look at it but it's such a gorgeous color so this is the color bright coffee and as you can see it's this gorgeous neutral champagne -y shade and this is in the standard size and as you can see it goes to that bedding really nice really neutral they also come in five other colors too they have them in baby pink and baby blue and I'm sure there's black as well and a nice white color but yeah as you can see very very soft you literally just slide them in very very easy and they're also machine washable as well they also have the little eye mask as well which I hide from Hugo because he loves to steal scrunchies and eye masks so this is a matching eye mask you can see Hugo already investigating you're not having it I'll quickly try it on for you to show you how it fits but it's honestly so so lovely I love the branding as well with the little label on here but again it's a lovely color and matches these perfectly so here's a closer look at the silk eye mask it also comes with this little silk drawstring bag as well to keep it in so I like to sort of keep it in this and then hide it underneath my pillow from Hugo like I just said because he likes to steal them I just find a silk eye mask like so relaxing like when I pop this on in the evening time Ross just laughs at me he's like you're such an old lady I'm like no like this is a silk eye mask it's not just any eye mask it's a silk one and it'll also be great as well for fingers crossed traveling in the future but I thought I could just try it on for you to show it how it sits and how it fits so as you can see it's elasticated just here and it just fits on really really nicely so I'm wearing a silk eye mask as well honestly it makes me sleep so much better I have mentioned in my other videos where me and Russ do come to bed earlier now because I wasn't sleeping very well at all I just couldn't switch off so an hour before bedtime now me and Russ ditch our phones we have no screen time we come to bed an hour before we read a book and then it just relaxes us so much more for the evening and having these silk pillowcases as well and my little eye mask to wear makes me sleep so much better mom silk also sell these little silk scrunchies as well in different colors i just love a silk scrunchie in my hair because like i've said it reduces breakage it's more comfortable on my hair and it doesn't pull either so i'm doing my wardrobe today and sorting it out i've got my hair just loosely down but i'm sure i'm going to tie it back eventually and just get it out of the way because as you can see they just go in your hair really 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 easily Hugo's just literally lying behind me there because he loves to rob these out of my hair so as you can see 
very very soft they also come in different sizes so i have some other sizes to show you so there's this size that i've got on my wrist and there's also these ones as well so we have a really nice big one here which again makes a really cute accessory i think a scrunchie just looks so cute on your wrist and there's also these ones as well so you've got this size and then a little small diddy one as well so if your hair is shorter see so yeah, i really love these silk hair scrunchies they're so much better for my hair and they don't pull up my hair or break them so yeah love these in combination with my little eye mask and the silk pillowcase i do have a discount code as well for 15 percent off so i will pop my discount code on the screen below and i'll also link these lovely mom silk accessories and these gorgeous silk pillowcases below for you in the description look at hugo all sprawled out on the bed you're having a lazy day today he's very excited today because i'm sorting my wardrobe out but also his friend is coming for sunday dinner is your friend coming today as you guys know diesel is my mom's french bulldog and it's hugo's best friend is diesel coming today is your best friend coming for Sunday dinner? So I'm cooking a nice lamb dinner today and my mum is coming over because she lives on her own and she's part of our bubble but she's going to bring his friend over because he loves Diesel very very much don't you? So you're going to be a good boy today because then you can play with your best friend later can't you? Honestly, the way they play together just melts my absolute heart. So as you can see, the rail is back on the landing and looking very, very full. There's also a box from H&M there that I've bought some really nice new spring bits, which you guys will be seeing soon. Of course, I just need to tidy up because the house is a mess. So please don't look. Don't look at the bathroom because it's still really bad. Um, I need to have a bit of a sort out in here as well. Um, new dressing table has come, like I've just said. Um, I just need to put these little bits away. And then all my overhead storage is like my summer stuff. So I I have sorted these out already when I did sort my wardrobe out like when we did the big switch over so I'm going to grab these down and then pop them on the floor as well and then empty the one drawer and I've got that I need to vacuum bag because my summer stuff is in there in vacuum bags so then I just literally just swap it over and I'm just thinking because that one's not too bad but that one is so heavy and Russ isn't here he's just gone to um, do his building checks at work so yeah, I might have to just get that one down first and then pull more of the knitwear bits out. But my wardrobe isn't actually too bad. Like, I say this now, but it is looking full again. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I can't get anything in it because I'm literally just like... Yeah, it's all these knits. They all just need to go in drawers. And then these bits aren't too bad. Obviously, shoes are started to dump in there which I need to stop um, I've got other shoe boxes there um, my other bits as well in the other cupboard I'm going to try and get my trench coats in there but I'm just going to have a bit of a sort out in here again most of my stuff at the moment is loungewear like I've honestly got so much like this wardrobe you would have seen before is just rammed full of my loungewear so I need to sort of like get all this in a drawer um, and then as you can see as well I have all my blazers and my jacket so yeah since the last video it does not look in too bad like the drawers are still really organised this is a drawer that I was on about so these are my really heavy thick knits as you can see very very chunky so these all need vacuum bagging i mean look at the size of this this is that big lovely cozy knit from zara that big hoodie it honestly takes up half the drawer it's honestly massive so these are the ones i'm going to get out and vacuum bag i think i might keep that one out because it's a really nice like still transitional knit i might just keep a couple but then try and vacuum bag some of these because they're honestly so so like chunky and thick and they're taking up too much room so yeah that is a task now
So I've just sorted through my knitwear and took out the really, really heavy, thick, chunky knits, which I'm going to vacuum bag away. I've not been like too hasty because I feel like obviously it's not going to be like warm straight away. We still need some sort of knitwear pieces. So I've kept like my chunky cardigans there, like my nice spring ones, some nice knits as well, some other knits that I sort of wear at home when I'm all cozy, and just these like thicker woolly ones that I do wear. So that's all in this drawer. So it's literally just about a squeeze. And then I have some more jumpers in here as well just these two more colorful ones and i honestly have so many leather trousers like i definitely need to go through them and see which ones are fine like i live in my mango ones and these are my h&m ones and these are the they're the new look leggings so i wear the new look leggings when i'm dog walking because they're like the other ones and i have my nice top shot ones so i just need to go through these and just double check everything so i don't want to be like hoarding stuff that i don't need or what doesn't fit me i also think that my zara um trousers don't fit me anymore i really like i had them last year and i like leather leggings in the brown and the beige so i need to try them on because i don't think they're going to fit me so i might have to depop them um so as you can see here i'm just pulling some bits out so i've got more space as well in here so again i'm keeping like these like lighter knits as well like the thinner cardigans and stuff like literally lighter knitwear pieces like these knitted tops and stuff that i have that i will chuck on in the springtime and then i have literally so much loungewear like i already said like they were all hoodies that had come out of there so i'm gonna then fold them up now and pop them in the other half of this drawer when i've sorted that out but like look at all that loungewear like, obviously, it's what I wear all the time, but I just feel like now I need a separate drawer just for loungewear. Like, I have literally all my basics in here as well, as you've seen before. Like, got all my basic tops in here, all my joggers, and as you can see, it is rammed. So, yeah, I think I need to sort out my underbed storage because I have, like, loads of pyjamas and stuff underneath there. And maybe I should start putting, like, joggers and that in there as well. Um, and then I think the bottom drawer underneath there is bag. So I've literally just got those three drawers. And then these ones, again, here are practically still pretty much sorted i have all my light denim in there i then have like my blue denim and then all my little basic tops and my knitted tops that i will need as under layers and then all my trousers are in there and then again that's gym wear and that's like converse and trainers so everything is pretty much still in its place from before so it's not too bad it's just literally sorting out all my knitwear vacuum bagging them and then pulling out whatever's from there and popping it into here so I just tried these on. So I had these last year from Zara. These did come up like stupidly small. So I got them in the brown colour. I also got them in this neutral colour as well. And I got them in the size small originally and they were just ridiculously too small. Got them in the medium. They were still snug, but I got them on. But now I can't even get them up my leg and zip them up. So yeah, they're going on Depop. It's like the whole jean saga last time when I did my big wardrobe declutter. I tried on literally all my jeans and so so many jeans didn't fit me because obviously we've all put white on in lockdown and I feel like we've all just accepted it and I'm just like um, I don't, I'm not really bothered it's just annoying when I'm like damn it I love those trousers no they don't fit me um, but I don't want to just keep them and then think that oh, I need to lose weight to fit back in them sort of thing so I'm just going to get rid of them and they are like a really skinny fit anyway and I do prefer like more of a straight style more of a mom fit so yeah I'm going to whack these on my depop so leather trousers are a little bit condensed. I literally thrown out, I think there's just those ones on there. So obviously ignore the state. It's just a mess again. And we've got Izara ones on there. I've got some other ones as well that don't really fit me, like some paper bag waist style. And I feel like paper bag waist just don't sit on me like at all. Like I feel like, because I've got like a really like, short waist like i haven't got a longer waist so when i wear like a high-waisted like paper bag it literally just sits underneath my boobs and looks so unflattering so it's definitely not a look so i've just popped all my hoodies in here now with those other jumpers at the back there and then all my other bits are in there i think i definitely need to go through probably my basics again just to like i have already done it but you know just to go through it just again and um, i've also got like obviously my winter accessories as well which i will vacuum bag away as well with my jumpers um again when it comes to my coat so I'm not going to bother like doing that because I have them all in that one cupboard anyway so it's not like I'm gaining anything because they all need to be stored in there anyway so yeah I'm going to try and pull the bits down from the top now so let's just come back now and we have unpackaged my dressing table when it came in the day that corner was wasn't packaged well and um, the mirror is right at the bottom that, it was literally in there that one was even worse 
that. So that was the corner with the box where yeah. it was. And it's... Look, it's damaged. I'm absolutely fuming. So I've been, you guys know, I've been waiting for this dressing table for, it's got to be like between six and eight weeks. And obviously you guys want to be going to see the reveal soon and everything. And yeah, the box wasn't packaged well at all. The mirror is face down flat at the very, very bottom so, going from the so top. This here, so it's like this. But even that sort of, see that sort of dented there. and scuffed. But the mirror was facing down with a, a thin strip, strip of that. Irene, and the mirror's glass stone. I'm not being. I know there's worse things going on in the world, but like you've no, waited this long for it. No, I'm saying, but there is. I know. There's literally. I know. I've mean, waited that long for it, and it's not. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to just try and email them and send them a picture and ring them because I'm, I'm absolutely fuming now because that was like this dress area. I think it was two hundred eighty nine pound. It was expensive. <laughs> but the delivery guy was like, he literally got out of the van, tried to pass it me through the, the van door. The bottom of it was hanging with a gap through it, and I said the top was open. We said, and he said, and I said, do you wanna check it quickly? I was like, well. He said, so, well, can you take it back if it was like, not a card? So if it's damaged anyway, it's not my problem. I'm yeah, sorry. he was a bit of an idiot. So I've literally just shared it on my Instagram stories and I've tagged them and I will send them a, a really annoying email because now we've got to try and send this back now and get it collected because, and I'm not paying to return it when they've sent it damaged. So yeah, I'm gutted because it's a beautiful dressing table, but I'm, I'm fuming. Like that is such a, like for paying like £300, nearly £300 for a dressing table and like look how bash that corner is like... So just getting these down for me now, because like I said, they was heavy. Is that the heavy one? No. It's, it's the other one. Put the light one and I'll do the... That's it. Let me just the door. Still, don't, because there's a little lip on the door, so I'm going to bang the door, so I'm bringing it over. That's it. Woo! Yeah, put it on the floor there and I'll sort that one out first. Amazing. Thank you. So as you can see, everything in this one, which was super heavy, is all vacuum bags. So this is like all my dressy stuff, like from Christmas. I got my sequins and everything. This, of course, will stay up the top. I then got like more dresses here, which I'll have a sort through and get out. And I've also got like some denim shorts and that in here. Um, I'm trying to think where I can sort of sort through and put them. So I'm going to have a little look through and pull all these out. see i've got loads of like summer and spring bits out obviously all this stuff needs a steam i've grabbed like linen trousers and whatnot um because so i do sort of wear them around the house as well um so i've just got some of the bits out i've also got all these as well like some more like higher summer dresses but i thought i might as well get them out and then leave them hanging so everything's been packed back in here now so i've got some jumpers in there back in there also you can see i've got my winter scarf in there and i've also like put some like really high summer stuff back in there like i have like loads of like swimwear not that I'm going to be wearing somewhere anytime soon, but like beachy, like summer accessories, like little bags and stuff. So I've literally just put like the really high summer stuff still away, like in little like tops and stuff. So I put that all in there again with my jumpers. And then I've got these two bags out. So I've got my mango one, which was such a good dupe for the Loewe bag. Obviously you see my new white one, but this is the tan version that I used so much last year. And it's a really nice size as well. So I've got this little small one. I've also got this bag back out as well because I mean, it's so, so me and I absolutely love it. I used it loads 
Leeds last year and again it's such a cute bag so I've got that back out which I'll store in my wardrobe I'll just use my like H&M tote bags to sit them inside so they don't get crushed or damaged but I love these bags so I had to get these two back out um, for the spring I've also then got shorts on here some more of like my tailored shorts so I have a couple of pairs of linen shorts again which I wear with t-shirts with my blazers and whatnot um, but I'm going to put them in a drawer and have a little bit of a sort through I probably should have put these where all my leather trousers were and hung my hoodie so I might have a bit of a rejig around again and just get them all folded up and I will just seam them then when I need them so yeah definitely a productive day today I'm so annoyed about my dressing table like I'm honestly so gutted we've actually had a little quick look on Wayfair and we found a couple on Wayfair so I think I'll have a little look later on this evening and get one ordered and hope that it arrives but yeah really gutted about that so I'm just having a sort of through again and just organizing things I have some nice like long cardigans here I have some other dresses so I'm gonna put on my longer dresses I'm keeping like these finer knit um, jumper dresses out as well because like I said it's not like full like spring summer yet and I do love wearing a jumper dress like with a trench coat and whatnot and I have some other dresses here as well which I can't wait to start wearing again so I'm going to sort all these bits out now and then start putting my nice spring shirts in here and as you can see I just have this bit of knitwear here which I'm going to move into the next wardrobe and have this as literally just like my knit vests and like all my shirts and blouses and like dresses I've also pulled out my trench coats as well which I'm going to put in my coat closet on the landing because there's some coats in there that I do want to get rid of so they're just waiting to go in I can move them across so I'm going to sort through these bits now put my other dresses in that are more high summer and sort through all my shirts and blazers and move these across as well a bag of stuff for Depop again I'm not sure when I'll upload it and um, I've got a bit of a crazy week next week and then next weekend is my birthday weekend so I need to take pictures of it it just takes so long so I'm not gonna put it all on straight away because I still have some other bits still on there that I need to shift um, but I will let you guys know over on my Instagram when I'm going to be uploading the things to my depot. Um, so here's a little quick look of what we've done now. So literally all my dressing that are all this side with my blazes. I've got my knit vest as well. I just need to sort out. I've hung these knits for now. I just quickly just hung them off that rail there. I'm condensing that down. It's just got some campaign stuff on. I'll also hang my new in on that rail. Um, so yeah, I've sorted this bit out now, but I do still need, like, it's, I need space. <laughs> I am struggling, like, now that I've condensed the wardrobe, I am struggling, and I've really been, I have to be really ruthless. Like, some of the stuff, that things that I get rid of, like, I don't particularly want to get rid of, but sometimes I'm just like, I can't, I can't keep it, I can't wear it all at the same time. I'd rather sell it on my Depop and then you guys get wear out of it because it's just such a waste of things. Like I'd rather you guys benefit from it. I'm gonna sort through my trouser drawer again because I've literally just shoved these in here. Um, I definitely, it's my loungewear, that's the issue. So what I'm gonna do is sort my underbed storage where I keep like all my pajamas and all my other bits and put like all my joggers and that under there because it's just like too much. Like I'll show you in here now. Um, so this side here has got all my blazers I've moved my other thin knits as well over to here but there's obviously still room in the next one but I'm just trying to sort it all out and they do take up loads of room like these are my matching sets that I wear literally all the time when I'm at home like so so cosy so obviously I want them hanging so I can just grab them easier because that's what I wear the most um, and I've got shackets in here or the blazers um, I've obviously got all my knitwear in there which is really full um, so it's this is the issue is all the loungewear and I need to sort out this basics drawer as well that's another job if I can open so I got all my hangers just down there but yeah here's all my joggers and basics so this is one drawer I need to go back to and sort because I'd like to try and get all my joggers more in here just try on all my little summer tops from last year because there's so many things that don't fit me anymore so I'm just trying to just have a be really, really ruthless and have a bit of a gut out I always have to be so so ruthless when sorting this out and you guys know that me sort my wardrobe I probably do it like every couple of months 
months because I get to literally so much things new in in my wardrobe from campaigns that I work on, stuff that I buy for like videos and whatnot. I do end up keeping the majority of it as well because I love it and then I wear it. So it's just like, yeah, it's a bit of a battle. Like I said, my mom is coming over this afternoon as well. So I've got some jumpers and that, that I think will be fine for her. I do give her so much stuff. My mum's like, oh, what have you got for me? And like just like knitwear and jumpers and stuff. Like there's some nice little knitted hoodies there that she can wear around the house. And um, me and my mum are the same size. So I always give it loads to my mum as well. So I thought I'd show you what's new in the kitchen. She gets very excited because my mum is on the way. Yeah. Steve's are coming. It's good to see you. Is your friend coming to see you? Are you going to come and play? He's going to play with you. We still got the 100k balloons from last weekend. I mean, we've got boxes everywhere, the dressing tables in the hallway, and that's going to probably be sitting so there I'm for my dreams, boxes. however long. So we've got a box here. We've ordered a new kitchen sink tap, which we'll get out. Um, I'll quickly show you what's new in the kitchen as well. So excuse the laundry. We've got flowers and stuff. My pretty flowers are blooming away. So, so lovely. I mean, the kitchen is just um, a mess. But this is my new kitchen bin, actually. So you guys would have seen over my Instagram stories me absolutely raving about this Joseph Joseph bin. Um, it's amazing. Like, it's got different compartments in. This is up for your, when you're chopping your veg and whatnot, you can literally lift it out. And then for the bottom here, we have the recycling, which is just so easy because you can lift this out nice and easily. And here you just want to get underneath it. Um, so yeah, absolutely love that. It's amazing. It fits in that corner. Corner. so so lovely this is just unboxing the new kitchen oh wow that is lovely yeah. that is like so bougie for us and it's just gonna fell over the rug so it's literally we've got this is our new tap we'll go into there and then oh, you can oh that is so this off. I love that so can do. it's like it looks matte doesn't it it's not it's like a and it just clips into there. I mean how nice is that gonna look instead of that one like this one is so vicious and powerful but the fact is this is what I think it's $89.99, yeah. My brother's gonna fit that for us because he did all the silicone for us. I don't think I was, no, actually, I haven't showed you guys. So I know in the last vlog, um, when we did the kitchen, can you see all this edge here? My brother literally did silicone. He did clear silicone here. He did it on the top here, and then he did it all around the sink so no water gets underneath or anything. He's also done it around the cooker for us as well. So again, same thing with the clear. I mean, the house is a bit of a mess, so I'm trying to show you this new stuff. It needs cleaning. Um, we've got some new bits from obviously Janelle. We've got a new bread bin, also got this from BM yesterday, and then we've got a new dish drainer as well instead of the copper one that was Dunelm. So that was BM, that was Dunelm. Then got these little storage glass jars from BM, which are gonna go like on the wall. We're gonna do a nice little shelf on there and do a little bit of a display because it looks very empty and sad over there. And then we've got this marble, um, like glass granite um, soil protector, which needs a clean, so it's dirty. Um, and then we've got these new little tea, coffee, and sugar canisters with this chopping board, again, which is from B&M. So we literally did a B&M session yesterday. Got some new gloves as well, some oven mitts, and then this lovely rug. So if you guys want to see another girl on my Instagram, here you go, literally, I put it down and there's muddy paws on it straight away. But the kitchen, I mean, ignore the mess because it is a mess in here, but how much brighter does it look? Like, we literally feel like it's a brand yeah. new kitchen. It looks really lovely. And it's not normally this mess, I think, because we've just got stuff out and we just haven't Yeah, it we've away, literally yeah. got, yeah, we've got, got the Easter coffee machine there. that we need to get rid of. We've got Easter eggs. Um, I mean, I'm so happy with that tap. That's gonna make such a difference. It's bigger than expected, but it's a good thing because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a nice a statement. statement, and they'll clear off so the windowsill as well. So Hold it from nice. that side and see how big it looks. Grab it's it again. <laughs> you just put it back in the bag. Yeah, just put it. Yeah, just get it back in there. It's just a bag. So I want to see what it looks so like from this you angle. Take, uh, you gotta take that off. So you gotta that's gotta imagine that's back there, though, yeah. That's gonna literally look so nice. Yeah, very excited for that to go on. Um, here you go, scratching to go outside. It's nice and sunny today. It wasn't meant to be sunny, but it's sunny. He's just gonna, you're getting ready for your friend to come. They're gonna literally run around and go absolutely crazy in the garden. But at least I can open the doors and let them just go absolutely wild. So I'm gonna end today's vlog there because we're doing a nice lamb dinner for our Sunday dinner. My mum should be here shortly, so they're gonna have a nice play this afternoon. And we're gonna have a bit of a tidy up later on. I think I've got laundry I need to put away. Um, but yeah, it's gone really nice and sunny now. So next weekend we're not vlogging, are we? Because it's my birthday yeah, it's next birthday. Sunday. Yeah. So it's my second lockdown birthday. So I thought I'm not going to film a video for like next weekend. I want to have a bit of a chill and a weekend off. So this Sunday there won't be a YouTube video because it's my birthday. 
Um, any updates or anything else? I know there is, is there really? No, nothing no. So far, no. Yeah, there's, nothing there's else. Probably the next time you see us, hopefully, well, so it's open back up on the 29th of March. That yeah, birthday, so things will slowly then, start being a bit more um, normal. Gyms, uh, restaurant, not restaurants, sorry, shops are open the 12th, so hopefully we'll be able to get more. Yeah, start doing you know, some like more vlogs to be out and about doing not just, just at home. home yeah. But I'm sure the kitchen tap and that will be fitted by then as well. Also, got the whole saga with the dressing table, which obviously I'll keep you updated over on my Instagram as well. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have liked this vlog, then please give it a nice big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. So, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.